In the demanding world of digital photography, your exposure must be accurate. With Sekonic's data transfer software program and the 758, you have the knowledge and the tools to make exposure decisions that are more precise and predictable than ever before. The process I'm going to show you is called camera profiling, and Sekonic has developed a simple way to do this. The first step of camera profiling is to take a series of bracketed exposures of the Sekonic test target available from your photo dealer. The easiest way to make a profile is to photograph the target outside in diffused sunlight. Earlier today, I mounted my camera on a tripod, attached the test target to a flat surface, and made sure the camera is parallel to it. I performed a custom white balance using the 18% reflectance surface on the back of the test target. I frame the target so it fills at least half the viewfinder frame. I set my meter to full stop readout. For this test, I set my meter to ISO 100, ambient mode, and shutter priority at 1 60th of a second. It's important to check the evenness of the illumination. To do this, I retracted the lumosphere and passed the 758 from side to side and corner to corner. The difference should not be more than one tenth stop. Then I extended the lumosphere and took an exposure reading. I got f4 and 5 tenths at a 60th of a second. I wrote down the ISO, the f-stop, and the shutter speed for entry into the Sekonic data transfer software program later. Remember to write down both the full and the tenth f-stop. It's important to get total accuracy. Then I switched to spot mode and took a reflected light reading of the 18% reflectance border of the test target. The reflected reading was f4 and 8 tenths at a 60th of a second. It's different than the incident reading, but not to worry. The Sekonic software calibrates the meter as well. In manual mode, I set the camera for the f-stop and shutter speed of the incident reading. Next, I made an 11-shot sequence. That's five stops over the metered exposure and five stops under the meter exposure. Because my metered exposure was a 60th of a second at f4, I needed to start my 11-shot sequence at a half a second and then increase the shutter speed in one-stop increments ending at 1 2,000th of a second. Now let's watch the data transfer software do its magic. The first thing you'll see is the main screen. Click on Create a New Profile and then Quick Mode. Now select the test target used and click Next. Now put in the meter settings. The ISO is 100. The incident light reading was 1 60th of a second at f4 and 5 tenths. The reflected reading was 1 60th of a second at f4 and 8 tenths. Click Next. And now get the test shots. Click OK and the pictures are automatically imported into the thumbnail viewer. Now select 11 shots by clicking on the small box at the top right of each image. Once all are selected, click Next. Now you need to set up the registration point for the images. This is where careful setup for shooting really pays off. Click on the best visible image. It will be imported into a larger screen above the sequence in the thumbnail viewer. And a set of green registration marks will appear in the center of the image. Move the registration marks to the outside corners of the test target image like this. Now go back to the sequence below and click on each image to see a large green check mark appear on each one. Once finished, click Next and watch the software build a profile for the camera. Pretty amazing. From bottom to top, this camera has a dynamic range of 5.9 stops. Not bad. The black point is 3.1 stops lower than the mid-tone exposure. The white point is 2.8 stops above the mid-tone exposure. The Sekonic software automatically sets up clipping points. You can use the program's suggested setting or adjust these points to any position you want. These points will also appear on the 758's LCD readout when you transfer the profile to the meter and will be the basis of its exposure warning system. Let's save the profile. Click Save and give the profile a name. 
Let's call the profile Canon 5D 17 to 35. Click OK and you're back at the main screen where you will see the profile we just made on the camera exposure profile list. Now let's upload the profile into the 758. Start by selecting it, click on the profile, and then click on the button to the right which moves it over to the selected profile for camera one. You can transfer up to three camera profiles at a time and call them up anytime you need them by pressing buttons on the meter. With the 758 turned off, connect the meter to the computer using the USB cable that is included with the meter. Now turn on the 758. Notice the transfer to light meter button is now active. Click on it and watch the profile information transfer into the meter. Switch off the meter and unplug the USB cable. Switch the meter back on and we're ready to go. The transferred range and clipping points appear at the bottom of the 758 display screen and can be displayed in three different ways. Using custom function in the meter, I've selected the in-range indication for this demonstration. To check the brightness of a scene, first take an incident reading to establish a mid-tone and press the mid-tone button. Then use the spot meter to take a highlight and a shadow reading, memorizing them both. Here we see all three readings. If a measured highlight is beyond the range or a shadow area is too low to capture, the indicators on the 758 screen will blink to warn you. If you are not able to make lighting adjustments, the 758 will show you how to adjust the mid-tone to include more exposure detail in the highlight or shadow area and still get a great shot. If you'd like to take a test drive of the data transfer software program, go to Sakonic.com.